is another day. Amen. And the Lord is made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I try sad. Hurt your bones. I, I left it alone. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, gracious Father, we come approaching your throne of grace through your son Jesus. Give another way to come. First of all, God, we just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your mercy, your goodness, and your stretched out hand to deliver and let the captives go free, Lord. Lord, we pray for wisdom and knowledge and understanding, Lord. Amen. To bring forth this confession, God. Amen. Bless God. Use us mightily, God. Amen. With our tongue. And we practice, God. To say the right thing. Amen. Under pressure. When we, amen. In pressure. Out of pressure. Whatever the pressure may be, Lord. The right things come out of our mouth. In Jesus' name, those that are sick in their bodies, Lord. We pray that you hear and virtue flow like a river to their bodies. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of God, those that need to be saved will be saved, God. Those that may be, amen, need to be healed be healed, Lord. In Jesus' name, everybody say amen and amen and amen. We're going to go with uh, Proverbs 18 and 21. Said, dead in life, or in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit there. So you and your seed are going to live in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. By speaking something, we're going to speak favor, salvation, healing, prosperity over our lives. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we're going to declare this. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, when we say this, it's going to start happening first. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, the more we declare this, it's going to start happening first in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We confess that the favor, salvation, healing, and prosperity of God surround us like a shield in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We expect doors to open. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we say, people, the call is on the phone. We get a blessing. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we decree from this moment, Father, we see ourselves the way God sees us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are highly favored of the Lord. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are crowned with glory and honor. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are the righteous of God. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are reigning as a king in life. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Now, in Jesus' name, we decree by faith that we walk in divine favor, salvation, healing, and prosperity that we have. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have supernatural increase. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have the act of returning sometime to our former owner, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to the believer. And doers of the word. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. 
We have to say to be important or famous in Jesus' name and by the blood of the love of God. We have our requests running in Jesus' name and by the blood of the love of God. Laws change that man has made in Jesus' name and by the blood of the love of God. Pounds and rules change that man had made in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. And battles won and we do not have to fight in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Why? All because of the name of Jesus and his blood. The blessing, the favor, salvation, healing, and prosperity of God is on our lives. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. When we arrive, we expect favor, love, mercy, grace, goodness, healing, salvation, and blessing as with a shield. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, and pleasures forevermore. Those are now open for us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, that man said, impossible to open. No obstacles can stop us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, no hindrance can delay us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are honored by our Father. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, and receive genuine favor, love, mercy, grace, healing, goodness, salvation, and prosperity and come directly from God. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God we're special to Him. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God what the apple of His eye. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God we're blessed and highly favored. Love, mercy, grace, goodness, salvation, healing, and prosperity in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Amen. So be it. Right now, in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Now, if you're signing wisdom and guidance, the spirit of truth abided in us. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. And teach us all things. Guide us in all truth. Therefore, we confess we have perfect knowledge of every situation, every circumstance, and we come up against. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have the wisdom of God. Now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we trust in the Lord with all our heart. We lean not to our own understanding. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, in all our ways, we acknowledge him and he direct our paths. The Lord will perfect that <coughs> which concerning us. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we let the word of Christ dwell in us richly. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are redeemed of the Lord. 
Whatever we say is so. Angels are going around right now. They're working on bringing the pies. Every word that is in God's word that is coming out of our mouths. Hallelujah! That is the highest praise. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we put off the old man, which we renew in the knowledge as an image of him that created us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have received the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and the knowledge of him that created us in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We're not conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewed of our mind in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. The joy of the Lord is our strength in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. The shalom of God, the holiness of God, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, should keep our hearts and mind through Jesus Christ and by the blood of the Lamb of God, pure, perfect, loving, and of a good report. We thank on these things. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we let no corrupt communication proceed out of our mouths. But that which is good to edify, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, that may minister to the hear. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby we are sealed until the day of redemption. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we speak the truth by the Word of God. In love, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we grow up in the Lord Jesus Christ, in all things, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. No man, woman, children, or anything should take us out of his hand, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We have a turn of life now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we let the peace of God, the holiness of God, the shalom of God, rule in our heart. We refuse to worry about anything. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we cast our cares on God. Because God cares us. Care, go now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, who are not left the word of God to part from our eyes or from our ears, but it's like to us, we have found it. It is health, healing to all our bodies, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. God is on our side. God is in us now. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. Who can be against us? He's given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Therefore, we are partakers of the divine nature. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are believers 
not doubt us. We believe. And these signs do follow us. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. Cast out all demons. We speak in new tongues. We lay hands on the sick. And the sick do recover. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. We are anointed. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. Jesus gave authority. And power. To use his name. And which is bound on earth. Is bound in heaven. Satan. We bind you. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. You are bound. And with you loose on earth. It's loose in heaven. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. We bind sin. Sickness, disease, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, violence, immolation, wrath, strife, sedition, hindrances, Indian, murdering, drunkenness. Reverence, all the works of this flesh, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we lose salvation, healing, prosperity, love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we lose the gifts of the Spirit, favor with God, man, women, and children, spiritual blessings, as in heavenly places, as in Christ Jesus. The fear of God, humility, is great riches, and honor, and life. God didn't give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. All the spirit of fear we should have is of God, that we prosper, be in help, even our soul prosper. All the promises of God, yes, and amen. We are tyrants. Your word said, and you rebuke the devour power of Satan and open the windows of heaven. Power of blessing in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Angels, go now. Bring forth our harvest in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Go now. Bring for our promotion. We walk in the favor, salvation, healing, and prosperity of God. Comfort of the Holy Spirit. Favor coming in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Promotion coming in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Prosperity coming in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Abundant life coming now in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Angels, go bring in our hearts by the word that we have spoken. Go bring in the past. Now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are completing Jesus, who is the head of all principalities and powers, we are his workmanship, created in Jesus unto good works, 
which he has ordained, and we should walk therein. Victory in Jesus, Bible study center, will experience the miracles in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Every member, every partner, every service, every convention will be filled with people. Regardless how many service we command one million to come now from the north, south, east, and west. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, to victory in Jesus, Bible Son of Shannon, diligently, dedicated, committed, sold out, tireless, on fire, anointed, Bible carriers, devil stumpers, believers, now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, bring the hurt, bring the sick, bring the poor, bring the depressed, and I shall be healed and delivered. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for a trillion followers coming to victory in Jesus, Bible Son of Shana. Now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, a million partners coming to victory in Jesus, Bible Son of Shana. Now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, all budgets, all conditions are met forever. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Over and above. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We declare increase in on all our lives. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We are redeemed of the Lord. Then we say, is so. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We have said it, and is so. Now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Hallelujah! As the highest praise. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Give the Lord a hand and clap amen for that confession. Amen. God's an awesome God. Amen. Bless God. I feel better already. I feel lighter. Amen. And Lord, I'm going to feel like a little fellow. Amen. Get better to float around. That's power in your tongue. Life and death. Amen. Is in the power of that tongue. I thank God I'm practicing this song. He used to not be able to say all that. But Jesus, when he came in my life, I became a new creature. Old things began to pass away. And behold, all things in my life became new. The places I used to go, I don't go no more. People I used to run with, they don't want to run with me no more. I wonder why. They ain't talking like they're talking. Uh, they like they're talking and they ain't acting like they're acting. Today is Friday, I ain't running with him. He just got paid. Now he's going to go have a good time. Tomorrow he's going to be broke. Lord, have mercy, God. But all these friends, they're going to enjoy themselves in the flesh. But I hope Jesus is going to come while it's going on. He said he comes to be head of the night. You don't know when he's going to come. But he tells us to be ready. Watch and pray. Lord, help me to be ready, Lord. Pray for vision, Jesus, and Bible says, Senate, and we be ready when you come back. Or when you call us out of here, whichever one comes first. Let us be ready, Lord. In Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen and Amen and Amen. I want to deal with a study. Study. It's our subject, Amen, this afternoon. I got this message. 
going to school at Lamar, taking up air conditioning and heating. 72 years old, thank God, son. I can't do this without him. Uh, so I know where my help is coming from. Coming from the Lord. The Lord doesn't set me up. So I, 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 I got a, uh, some information. See, at Lamar, you got to study. So you have to study the test, and then you have to take the test to pass. Once you study it for the test, then you have to take it to see if you know the answer. One thing about this Christian walk with God, living for the Lord, is open book test. You can open your book and you ain't cheating. You go to the mall, they tell you to close your book, put up your notes. They want to see you know it or If you've been studying, so I don't find that. If you study, don't study the wrong answers because then you're going to get it wrong. You got some people study wrong. That's why they get it wrong. Bless myself, God, I ain't got started yet. So study right so when you go through the test, you'll get it right. Oh, Brother Mike, welcome with you. You'll get it right. This is, good. this is a good lesson now. Oh, you can take this to the bank and put out a withdrawal. Come to 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Thank you, Jesus. If I have to lay hands on myself, I feel that fire in my hand. Amen. Holy Ghost fire. Thank you, Jesus. Study to show thy self-approval unto man, a workman that need not be ashamed. Rightly, divide the word of truth. Who I'm saying is showing myself approval to? I, I, I said man. No, Jesus. <laughs> I thought it was curvature, but I was going to see if you're going to pay attention to what I said. <laughs> now, let's say, uh, every night we throw a curve at you, the Bible says, if you know something, I don't that's, that's what they do with your school. They give you a test to see if you know something. So I test, I test them out. So I throw a little something out there. And it, it, we got an open book. And that's why I repeat it again. See if they're following the book or they're going to follow me. Don't follow me if I'm wrong. Follow me all if I'm right. Amen and amen. Because I sure ain't going to follow man if he's wrong. Not me. I quit that a long time ago. If he's wrong with what he's saying, and he ain't saying the right thing with the word of God, I'm going to study it. I'm going to study that, and I'm going to make sure it lines up with God's Word. Then I know He's right. If it don't line up with the Word of God, then I know it's wrong. It don't take no rocket right science to figure this thing out. It's either right or wrong. I can't give two answers at Lamar. I can only give one. Now, there's a multiple, multiple choice, but to say I ask the question, is it all of them? They're all? They're <laughs> So you have to, you have to press yes. It, it, it's all of them. And sometimes it don't be all of them. It just be one of them. But if you ain't said it, you ain't going to know the answer. So don't try to guess it. Because you're going to guess wrong. Let me get back over here. It wasn't in a note. So I need to set it. And then show myself proof of And then to God. So when I, I decided to do one day, I said, Lord, let me study it. How to stop sin. How to do what? That's, is that pretty good stuff? I think it's a good study, uh, Christian. I ain't talking about the bachelor. I'm talking about the Christians right now. I'm talking about the ones, amen, in the church. Amen. I ain't talking about the one in the bachelor. Amen. Bless God. Uh, of course, if you want to look at the word, it'd be good for you too. And then you can come back after you get to study. Come with me now. Amen. Come with me now to uh, page, amen, uh, 1042. Page 1042. That's going to be Matthew 5 and 48. Amen. Matthew 5, amen, and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So I find out in my study that if, uh, Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is talking here now. 
Man said, you can't be perfect, but follow Jesus. Don't follow him. That's when you need to cut him off right there. As you do reading his word, and you find out what his word says, go with Jesus. Don't follow man, because he can't be perfect. And he don't know how to get perfect, because he don't know the word. Because he ain't been, he ain't been studying. So I find out perfection, when you're perfect, do you see it? So I had to set it. That's why I had to set it. I had, I had to set it out to stop sin. Uh, that's my step. You study, if you want to study, you can study how to keep sin. You got a lot of sin scriptures. And now if you want to study how to stop sin, that's some scriptures on that too. So it's up to you how you want to study. Come with me now to page 1170. Page 1170. At John 15 and 4. Page 1170. I need to go, Lord. All right, page 1170. Oh, yeah, that is it. That's it now, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That lying devil. The truth going to come out, and the truth going to override his lies. Page 1170. 15. And something at Fort Burke. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except you abide in me. All right, so I find out that in studying, I got to abide in Christ. And then he's going to abide in me. Now, you're going to get something else out of here now. You got some more groceries with this. You find out his word got to be in you too. Some folks just got Jesus and got no word. You're you going to get yourself in some trouble. Because you don't know if the word that you're shedding is, is right or wrong. And what man has told you whether it's right or wrong, you don't know that either. Because you ain't been studying. Be a temper. And the vine, you are the branches. He that abide in me, and I in him, the same bring forth how much? Much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. So I find out in my study, and I'm glad to find out in my study, that I can't do this without Christ. I said, Lord, I want to thank you. Now, because Herm was trying to do it, and he thought he could do it, and he failed. And then he tried again, and he failed. But then he found out in his study, he needed some help. He needed Jesus to help him to bring forth fruits. Lord, have mercy, God. I'll give us knowledge you got on how to bring it forth, you're going to need Jesus to help you to bring it forth. That's in the study now. That's when you study. Give the Lord a hand clap for Brother David. Amen. Thank God for Brother David being in the house. Amen. Bless God. Amen. We're on page 1171. Page 1171. And our subject is the study. Uh, and we use the subject as being steady. You would have to study the test and then have to take the test to pass. As a school, when you go to school, you study for a test, and then when you take the test, since you study, you should pass it, if you study right. Now, if you study wrong, you ain't gonna pass. So here we try to, not try, thank you, Lord. We use the word of God to help us study, so we can get it, we can get it right. Lord, we're gonna get it right over here. We ain't studying wrong. Because if you study wrong, you go ahead. That's what I said. I said it to a guy. I said, God, I told a guy one day, I said, man, if I study wrong when I take the test, I'll make zeros. Because I said it. I thought it was right. I took, I wrote it down, and I wrote it down wrong. Lord, have mercy God. Then when I got ready to take the test, it was wrong. So you don't make good grades if you... That's even in the natural. Listen, you don't make good grades if you're wrong in the natural. It's either right or wrong. So uh, if a man abide not in me, he is cast out of the branch and is with and man gathered them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. So first of all, I got to be in Christ so I won't get thrown in the fire. Jesus Christ spoke more about hell than man do today. 
You ain't got too many preachers talking about hell. You got some of them, very few, uh, that talk about hell. But I can't help myself to talk about hell because that's what Jesus talked about. So if I'm in the Word, guess what's going to come out? The Word, and He's going to talk about hell. Lord, have mercy, God. Because I've been studying. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I ain't trying to leave nothing out. Give you nothing smooth. And then you need the Word so you can come out. So the Scripture says you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So when I study, get the truth of God's word, people hear it, they go free, and whom the Son set free, is free indeed. Now they free. So now I'm studying the word of God, how to stop sinning. Ain't that so? Look at something about it. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Now he told me how to ask. I can pray his word. When I pray his word, that's his will. Now he's in me, and I got the word in me. Oh, I got some power going on here now. I got the word in me, and I got Jesus. I know that prayer is going to get through, because I got the, the word told me that. He said, if I ask according to his will, he healed me. He'll hear what I'm saying. I got to ask according to his will. His will is his word. I've been studying, see. I've studied that, and I know that's his, I know that's his will, because his word told me that. And then come with me now, and then come with me now to uh, page uh, 1330, 1 John 3 and 7. 1 John 3 and 7, that's 1330. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteous is righteous, even as he is righteous. So in my study, I found out I can be deceived. By who? By a man. That's why he said, let no man. Y'all hope y'all call that. Lord have mercy. He ain't left no man out. He said, no man. Y'all want to look up, know me? No, that's what it means. You know, I suppose y'all always want to change God's way and give you the interpretation of it. It means no, no man. So now I got to, since I've been studying, I find out man can deceive me if he studied wrong. And if somebody preached until he teach him wrong, guess what? He's going to be wrong. So I find out if you're under a preacher, if you're under a teacher, and teaching him wrong, uh, <laughs> we're looking at the film today at school, and, and it had a, a, a sequence, and it had a double sequence. And then it had one sequence on the side. And the man called it a triple de uh, uh, sequence. And the instructor said, there ain't no triple sequence because it's on the side. He said, if it had been a triple sequence, it had been on the top. So a lot of way it said it wrong, if I had to take a test, the instructor would have put it wrong. Because I would have called it a Triple sequence for the Zion a double. Lord, have mercy, God. And one single on the side. I said, Lord, this is awesome stuff here. So I can be taught wrong. Give me back over here. But I got corrected today that man that did instruction you know, that ain't true. Ain't no triple. And the man said, So if you studied off the internet and you call it a triple. You take that test, you think you're going to pass? You ain't going to pass. The instructor ain't going to let you pass. Because he knows there ain't no triple. Sequence. It's only two. One sitting on top of nothing, that's double. One sitting on the side. <laughs> that's not three. And that, that's not three. Uh, 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 on top of each one or nothing. Uh, it, don't, it don't take the right side to figure that out. But the man teaching wrong. Oh, help me, Lord, I don't get taught wrong. I stay in your word. Lord, I mercy God. Uh, look at the eighth verb. He that committed sin is of the who? Yeah. So I had to study how to stop sinning because I find out when I'm sinning is the devil that's in me. But I just got through preaching. I just got through singing. I just got through running around the church 
But I stopped off to get me a drink. And then I stayed too long. I came out, thought I could drive, and ran into a telephone post. The devil deceived me, made me believe I could drive. Because I had no knowledge of the word of God, so I had to blow the dust off the Bible. Find out where I made my mistake. Well, I made my mistake and I stopped to get a social drive when I should have went home. No, I'll help me, Jesus. So he said it from the beginning, as the word said about it, for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So Jesus Christ, as I've been standing here, I found out Jesus came to destroy his works. So I found out without Jesus, I can't whip the devil without him. Lord, have mercy God. But as long as I got Jesus, as long as I got the blood, I can put some hurt on him with his own lying self. Because he told me one day, I wasn't doing him nothing. So I hit him again with the name of Jesus. I held my ground. I didn't let him talk me out of the fight. But I stood my ground and stayed in the fight. I used the name of Jesus again on him. I used the blood on him. And all of a sudden, it got quiet in that house. I don't know which one got him, but I know one thing. When I stayed, that every knee going to bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Give the glory to God the Father. I find that he had to bow. Because the word said it. Said so the name of Jesus. Demons flee. They tremble at that name. Lord have mercy God. They can't get through the blood. Because the blood of Jesus will clean me up. I ain't got no sin in that name. I ain't got no sin in that blood. So I use that name. I use that blood. That I get enough word in me. And when I get enough word in me, now I'm using the word. I'm using the blood. I'm using the name. Lord, have mercy, God. So I can stop sinning. Nine verse. Whosoever is born of God, do not commit sin. Uh oh. I want to ask him a case. Sin if I'm born of God. God, y'all ever been like that? God don't sin. Sound like you've been studying. <coughs> so if you study the word of God, you'll find out the word said he can't sin. So you talking about you got God in you and you sin, something ain't right about that picture. I've been studying. I know who in you when you sin and got you full of the devil. Well, what I need to do, preacher? Repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Let the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse you. Get back on the battlefield. And don't stop until you can't sin no more. What's wrong with that pride? What's wrong with that power? Get a place where you can't sin no more. All right, Jesus. You said I can get that preaching? The word said it, not me. The word said if the seed remain in you, you can't sin. Go study. Blow the dust off that Bible. Open the page. Amen. You'll find in 1 John 3 and 9. Whosoever is born of God, do not commit sin. For his seed remain in him. He cannot sin because he's born of God. Oh, bless God. I ain't saying that sin won't pick on you. I said, you can't sin. Lord, have mercy God. Sin was picking on me. Amen. At school today, I put some Jesus on them. I put some blood on them. They don't know that I know how to pray inside. I don't have to stand up. Amen. And where everybody can hear me praying, I can pray inside. I got what you call the inward prayer. And I got what you call the outward prayer. That's when people are agreeing with me. He said, well, two or three tests agreeing. Asking anything in my name. He said, I'll do it. Now, how are you going to agree with me 
if you don't know what I'm saying. Lord, have mercy, God. So you got what you call the out of the prayer. Hey, you know what I'm saying. So I pray a lot on the inside because folks don't know I'm praying. Lord, have mercy. I've been blessed myself, Lord. That's because I've been studying. Now, I ain't coming. Bless yourself, Lord. Hey, Amen. Uh, who shall do it not righteous? Okay. I, I, see, did I finish nine? Mm -hmm. Let's go to ten. Now, you're going to find out who you belong to. The Pharisees told Jesus Christ that God was their father. And, you know, they were trying to kill Jesus. Jesus Christ said, you serve your father the devil. And the lust of your father will you do? Because you're trying to kill me. So Jesus had to let them know who they were serving by their works. So you will find out who that person serving by the things they do. It ain't hard. You got to be a fruit of state. But first you got to get yourself cleaned up. Once you get cleaned up, then you can see better. Amen. You see clearly. Amen. And take that little speck out your brother out. And then the children of God are manifest. And the children of the devil. Who's having or not? Righteous is not of God. Make it plain. I like the way John do. First John, he said, make it plain. He said in that tenth verse, Amen. If you ain't doing right, you ain't of God. When you sin, you have the devil. Oh, it's just said in here. Neither he that loveth not his brother. So I got to love. I got to love. I had to have a couple of God give me something. And, uh, and, I had, and I was praying for God. I said, God, let your love flow through me. Let your love flow. Let your grace and your mercy flow through me, Lord. So I won't keep this stuff in my heart against them. Lord, have mercy, God. See, they don't, they don't know I came out of that world. Oh, uh, back then, there would have been a fight. But thank God, I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to fight him. I was praying. Lord, have mercy, because you haven't studied the word. I was praying for God to let his love flow through me. So when you let God's love flow through you, as a God hey, hey, you love him un un unconditionally. Because hey, it was doing you right. Hey, Amen. They're doing you something wrong. But you still love them. You don't love the wrong they're doing. You love them. You're going to need some God to do that. Just study. You learn how to get it. If you ain't got it yet. Oh, I'm going to tell you how to get it. Study it. Say the word. And then learn how to call on them. Learn how to pray. Learn how to bind them spirits. Plead the blood over your conscience when you're playing with your mind. And bring all kind of filth to you. Lord, I'm going to say, clean up behind the devil. And that's what I do with that devil. You bring all that junk to my mind. Got my flesh all roused up. Amen. Want that woman. I don't want that woman, devil. Amen. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to go out and go do wrong. I don't want to go do wrong, devil. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. That's because I've been studying. Lord, have mercy, God. I know how to fight. I know how to fight. The angels got started yesterday. Lord, have mercy, God. I know how to fight sin, sickness, disease, poverty. I know how to fight all the devils. Jesus taught me because I've been studying. I don't bless my own self, Lord. Who's that who's not righteous, not of God? He that love is not, not his brother. So I got to love. I even got to love my enemy. So he even told me. Amen. When I got to, I ain't got no choice in this matter. I've been commanded to love. And love is not grievous. In fact, when you love people that's unlovable, you free. You free on the inside. You ain't got all that bitterness in you. You ain't got all that unforgiveness in you. You ain't tossing and turning and worrying about what you're going to do to them. And when you ain't got to do that to them, just go get you some reps and let God love flow through you. Let his grace and mercy flow through you. Amen. Because you're going to need it. <coughs> Lord, bless myself here, Lord. Amen. Come with me now. Amen. Come with me now to uh, Romans. Amen. Romans 6 and 1. Uh, you thought you'd go hide that from me. Uh, this, he got a lot of growth, so we may not have enough time to finish it. But what we can do 
where we stop at, be the laws where we can pick up something. Amen. Amen. The harvest, amen. That on our message being steady. Come into Romans the six, one, 6 and 1. Amen. Romans, amen, 6 and 1. Got a brother Mike's throat. Uh, whatever you call yourself, not Simon's. Go in the name of Jesus. Get out of him in Jesus' name and not the blood of the Lamb. Amen. 6 and 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? So as I, as I study this, I find out man got a grace message today. No matter what you're doing, you're on the way to heaven. Man. That's a lie and the truth ain't that. In fact, you go to 1 Corinthians 6 chapter, tells you those that do such things would not enter into the kingdom of God. As Paul wrote to the Christian church. Amen. Then Paul wrote to Ephesian church, those that do such things in the 5th chapter would not inherit the kingdom of God. That's sin. It was sin. And then he wrote to the Galatian church in the 17 words of the flesh. He said, oh, that do such thing would not inherit the kingdom of God. Inherit means you can't go in because you sin. I don't know why preachers don't preach that for. It's in the word. All you got to do is study. Yeah, those, 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 <laughs> those chapters I give you, go study. It's in there. You would not inherit the kingdom of God. Inherit me something that's been paid for. Christ paid for. So here's the question is asked. Amen. Second word. God forbid. This is Paul Hansen. Amen. To the folks with them grace message uh, that just want to keep sinning. How shall we then are dead to sin live long any longer die in? How you gonna continue to sin if you're dead to? So you gotta die after sin. Well, how do you do that, preacher? Blow the dust off that Bible. Go to study. And the Lord will teach you how to whip the devil. You whip sin, you whip the devil. He ain't going to have no place in your life. No more. That's it. He's going to be over with in your life. Once you learn how to fight sin. My God, my God. How the best arm said that, Lord. And the Lord gave you power and authority to do it with. So you got what you need. It ain't just going to be you like you doing it. The Lord said, I gave you power and authority over all the works of the devil. Now, if he didn't give you power and authority over all the works of the devil, the devil can't come and make me believe because what he's doing to me is going to work. Uh -uh. I already know when I go in, who's going to win? Because I've been studying. We got a third word. Know ye not that so many of us were baptized in Jesus Christ? Was baptized as dead. So you didn't know that? You didn't know when you was baptized in the Jesus Christ, that water baptism, the death, burial, and resurrection. People would say today, water baptism and don't save. Well, if you go study water baptism in the sixth chapter of Romans, you'll find out if you're baptized in Christ, it will save you. The word said it. So who I'm going to believe? I'm going to the world. I've been studying. I know the Savior. Now, once you get out that world, water and you act like the devil, you were saved at one time, but now you're done backseeing it. Blow that dust off that Bible, repent, and then get the word back in you and go to fight and sin. And then study how to stop sin. It's in the word. So now I'm finding out that man that was baptized in the cross. Amen. Bless God. He didn't want to deliver from my sins. He got four drives. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism to death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. You get a new life when you're baptized in Christ. But now you can't get baptized in Christ and then try to land in no study. And no you got to study so you can keep your salvation. Lord, how about that? Man, I'm trying to deceive you, make you think you ain't got to do that. Now, we are bear with him and then baptism in the dead. Now, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, God the one raised him up. He was also Jewish who walked in the news of life. Amen. The thing, amen. Amen. On Fridays, I used to be out there, amen, in the world. I know I've been saved. Ain't nobody, I ain't got to go ask nobody. I know I've been saved. 
I don't go to that. I don't go to that world no more. The world the one had me locked up. I, I was out there having fun with the world. Jesus Christ said, I didn't come to take you out of the world, but I'm praying that you be delivered from the evil that's in the world. When you go into the world, you're going to find the devil running that job. He's a, he's a father of, it, of the world. He's the God of the world. That's the Bible call him. He's a little small God. You need to go read it. The Bible calls him the God of this world. So you up there running around there having fun out there in that world today, deceiving, you got paid, getting ready to go. You need to stop. And go study before the devil take you down the wrong road. In the name of Jesus. Fifth word, for if you have been planted together in the likeness of this death, you should be also in the likeness of this resurrection. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Know this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be one. It wasn't, it wasn't a straw sin in it. I said, Jesus do. Hey, that the body of sin may be destroyed. Well, if nobody ain't teaching you that, and you ain't got no word in you to know that, you're going to be taught wrong, so you're going to think you can't overcome sin. And the word of God said that Christ in you, the hope of love, is the strong sin in you. I said, Jesus will. And therefore, you should not serve sin. We're going to put a pin there. We're going to put a pin there. Uh, <laughs> Lord, how about it? I'm going to read that seven. That's where we're going to start off. Amen. When we start back, be the Lord's will. For he that is dead is free from. You're free from sin when you're dead, sir. Give the Lord a hand clap for that word. We ain't had a. We ain't had a word. We're going to run out of time again. Lord, have mercy, God.